So we're going to start with the note G, which is those first three fingers in the left hand. Hey, my sax playing friend, thank you so much for checking out this video. My name's Alexander and I am the creator of saxophonemasterclass.com. If you just started on saxophone, this is the place to be. I have tons of free beginner saxophone lessons, as well as more advanced lessons on how to learn your favorite songs too. In today's lesson, I want to go through what notes, fingerings, and what scale you should be learning on the saxophone if you just started and you're trying to learn the sax for the first time. And there's a few reasons why it's so important to learn this scale and I'm going to go through those reasons as well. The scale and the fingerings I'm going to be showing you is G major and you can actually download a copy of the G major scale for free at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash G major. And there's also a link in the description of this video as well. Now I'm always recommending that my beginner students learn how to play G major on the saxophone and there's a few really important reasons why. So G major in one octave on any saxophone is one of the easiest scales to learn. When you start to go higher on the instrument or go lower on the instrument, like with other scales on the saxophone, it gets harder for beginner players to get those notes. So when you're trying to play low notes on the sax, that is actually technically harder to execute as a beginner saxophone player. The same thing goes for learning higher notes on the saxophone too. When you start to go higher on the sax, it requires more advanced techniques. You've got to have better breast support. You have to have developed your embouchure muscles. All of these things take time to develop. So you want to start somewhere that is easier to execute. And the G major scale in one octave is perfect for this. The second reason why G major is such a great scale to learn is that you're going through what's called the saxophone break. That means you're transitioning from the lower octave of the saxophone into the higher octave of the saxophone. And that is a really important technique to master. And G major is the best way to work on that technique. Now I have an entire video on how to get through the saxophone break, which is from C to D on the saxophone. And I actually link to it at the end of this video if you wanna check it out. After this lesson. But basically what's happening is you're going from this C key here and moving to D with the octave key, right? So that transition is called the saxophone break and it's really hard to get but it's part of the G major scale so when you're working on G major it helps you with improving that break on the saxophone C to D. As you work on that break, that's gonna help you with learning new songs as well. Which brings me to reason number three why the G major scale is such an important scale to learn when you're starting on saxophone. You can actually learn a lot of songs in the key of G major, and that is really important for your development as a saxophone player. It's important to start playing songs that you're familiar with, and it's important to start feeling good about your progress on the sax. So if you learn the G major scale, you can actually learn dozens of songs with just that one octave of the G major scale. For example, I have a beginner course called the Saxophone from Scratch Challenge, and you can get that for free, by the way, where I take you through four different songs step by step using the notes of the G major scale. So if you can just focus in on G major, you can actually start playing different songs like When the Saints Go Marching In, Mary Had a Little Lamb, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and more. And I actually show you how to do all of those inside the Saxophone from Scratch Challenge. And you can actually get free access to that by going to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash challenge and you can start learning all of those songs right away. So they're the three main reasons why you need to learn the G major scale on saxophone, especially in just the one octave. It's technically gonna be the easiest scale to play on the saxophone. It's gonna help you with improving that break in the saxophone where you're going from the lower octave to the higher octave. And it's gonna help you with learning your first songs on the saxophone so you can start playing for your friends and family. You can start feeling like you're making progress on the sax and you can stay motivated to keep learning as well, which is really important when you're learning a new instrument, especially the saxophone. So now that you know why it's so important to learn the G major scale in this one octave, I'm gonna show you the notes now, step by step. But remember, you can download the fingerings and the note names for free at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash G major. So we're gonna start with the note G, which is those first three fingers in the left hand. Then we're gonna lift up our ring finger here and go to A. Move up to B by lifting up our middle finger. Move to C, which is 
lifting up that index finger but putting down your middle finger like that. Then you move to D where all these fingers are down, three in the left hand, three in the right hand and that octave key on the back. Then we're going to move up to E, where we lift up this bottom ring finger. Then we move to F sharp. Again, we're holding the octave key up in these notes. That's using the middle finger of the right hand while holding down all of these notes in the left hand. And then finally, we're going to play the G again, but with the octave key. So now I'm going to play the entire G major scale in one octave, going up and then going down again. So that's G major ascending and descending on the saxophone. And again, this is a perfect place to start if you're a beginner saxophone player. Now you may have noticed I was tonguing each note, which is really important when you're learning the saxophone. You wanna make sure you're tonguing all the notes as you're playing, as this will help get the notes out and stop you from squeaking and help you execute the notes a lot better. So I really hope this lesson was helpful. Remember, you can get more details on how to get started on a saxophone with my saxophone from scratch challenge. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash challenge, where I'm gonna show you your first songs. I'm gonna show you your first fingerings. I'm gonna show you how to position your embouchure on the saxophone, how to set up your reed and mouthpiece. I go through all the details that you need to know as a beginner and it's also a really great refresher course for people that maybe haven't been playing for a few years and wanted to take it back up so make sure to check that out it's completely free if you want more lessons like this make sure to subscribe click that notification bell and please like this video because it really helps the channel if you have any questions or any comments please let me know below let me know if this video was helpful and remember I put out lessons every single week on YouTube so until next time happy playing